from Port Everglades, Florida. This is Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. Here's your cruise news for Friday, November 5th, 2021. For a limited time, Carnival Cruise Line will be trying out pre-cruise testing at the port. The option will be available to vaccinated guests booked on November cruises only and reservations will be required. The test will cost $100 and Carnival has requested that it is only used as a last resort option. The test will be billed to your sign and sale account. Passengers are also encouraged to use the Abbott Bionics Now home test with telehealth to avoid the stress of scheduling an appointment at their hometown or the pier. And Norwegian Cruise Line has made a couple of changes to upcoming policies. The line has modified its payment policy for upcoming voyages. Previously, final payment was due 90 to 120 days before sailing. That has since been reduced to 60 days before sail away. The line also recently announced the cancellation of select January, February, and March sailings aboard Norwegian Sky, Spirit, and Sun. And finally, Carnival Breeze came to the rescue of a sailboat in distress on Wednesday evening. Around 2 a.m. local time, the ship's navigational team spotted a disabled sailboat on its way back to Texas. Acting swiftly, the crew launched a craft to check out the distressed sailboat. This video is courtesy of Rhonda Brewer. A guest who watched the rescue told Cruise Radio that three people and two dogs were rescued and it appeared that one man had a broken foot, but the others seemed to be in good shape. Carnival Breeze was returning to Texas after a four-night Western Caribbean cruise. And cruise line stocks were down on Thursday. Carnival Corporation 22.82 down 1.5. Royal Caribbean down 1.3, 88.53. And Norwegian down 2, 26.76. Breaking news and up to the minute industry coverage at cruiseradio.net. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today. Have a great weekend. Cruise News Today is a production of Cruise Radio. For daily updates, subscribe to the Cruise Radio YouTube channel or visit cruiseradio.net.